All right, a health alert. We've all heard about the CBD craze, but for the first time, we're getting some guidance from a major patient advocacy group on how to use it. The Arthritis Foundation releases these guidelines. It's not recommending that people with arthritis use CBD, but it's offering some direction if someone wants to. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno explains. This recommendation from the Arthritis Foundation is an attempt to provide some clarity despite lack of scientific evidence. You can eat it, you can drink it, or you can apply it right to your skin. Whatever way you use it, CBD can be a profitable business. Hemp is going to be something that is going to be a 20 to $30 billion industry here in our state. Florida Commissioner of Agriculture and Consumer Services Nikki Freed has been pushing for regulation of hemp as a crop in Florida. One of the major reasons is that CBD oil is usually extracted from hemp. But that's the problem. There's no guidance or regulation standard for the treatment right now, and that's causing problems. I can't tell you the amount of stories that I hear all across our state um, when people have bought CBD because they think that it's for healing purposes and trying to do for health and wellness, and they realize that, A, maybe there's no CBD in it, maybe that it's less than what they had thought they were buying, or there's THC in it. The task of regulating CBD products has fallen on the Food and Drug Administration, but so far the agency has not done so. The Arthritis Foundation surveyed more than 2,600 patients suffering from arthritis, finding nearly 80% are currently using CBD, have used it, or are considering it for their joint pain since there is currently no cure. The recommendations include use low doses, which seem to work best for pain relief, Start with CBD only product, 5 to 10 milligrams twice daily, and then slowly increase, going up to a dose of 50 to 100 milligrams per day. Use only at night at first. Edibles effects last longer than vaping, so don't try them until you know what CBD strain and dose work for you. Use caution if you are 25 years old or younger and using CBD products that contain THC. Again, the foundation does not recommend using CBD, but if someone wanted to, they recommend using the kind of CBD oil found in sprays or liquid drops that patients hold under their tongue for at least one minute. The foundation did make it clear not to vape CBD as health officials continue to investigate those recent vaping-related deaths. Also, never stop taking arthritis medications already prescribed by doctors without speaking to them first. I'm consumer investigator Lauren Verno, the local station.